Guess how much I paid for my Sephora stuff? Zero Zoli. Welcome, welcome back to another vloggy vlog. I literally just peeped <laughs> that my camera screw fell out. So I don't even know if I'm going to be vlogging on this. But it's going to be a day in the life or a couple of days in my life. More like a weekend vlog. More like a day and a half of the life. It's going to be one of those. So definitely stay tuned and keep on watching. If you're new, subscribe. Join the gang. Follow me on IG and on TikTok at The Stitch Life. And leave a thumbs up change of the vlog of course but i'm headed downtown it's a friday happy friday slams laptop shut till monday and i feel like is it just me whenever we have a whenever we start the week late like we had monday off for easter right whenever we start the week late it feels like we worked a full week and a half like it doesn't even make feel like we had a day off right um as i mentioned i'm about to leave we're just going downtown with my mom she has to do something for work but then it's a free for all for the rest of the evening so maybe a happy hour maybe a gallery don't know yet i got off work not too long ago too and i just like put on something a little bit more warm but we had a whole earthquake in new york y'all a 4.7 i think it was really for well it really happened in jersey but new york felt it i didn't feel a damn thing but i was also doing a lot with my kids at the time so we were making a lot of noise been doing all that stuff but yeah happy that we're okay i know other parts of the world like taiwan had a crazier earthquake so just grateful that we're okay because it could have been a lot worse but hope you guys are good and that being said let's head downtown again i don't know if i should bring this camera because it's already losing screws again but stay tuned something's going on with nick the look at them For women, for women's history month, even though we're in April, period. I stopped into Sephora, it's a literal zoo, first day of the sale. I'll share what I pick up, but I'm thinking about getting this. Guess how much I paid for my Sephora stuff? Zero Zoolies. Yeah, I know I'm vlogging on my phone. <laughs> So I spent zero dollars at Sephora. I forgot, totally forgot. Mind you, I placed a whole order this morning. Forgot I had like two store credit cards or two cards from Sephora for Sephora credit. That makes sense. And a gift card. So I used them at the store. I was literally looking for my card. I'm like, oh shoot, I have gift cards and store credit. So I spent nothing at Sephora, period. We're walking to try to catch a happy hour. Yeah, I can probably hear I'm losing my voice just a little bit, but we move, honey, we move. These are so pretty. Wow. How cute is this bag? Mango is so cute. I'm literally obsessed with trenches right now. This color? What? So cute. What? He's a bird. I'm my favorite girl per usual. But yeah. This wind at post earthquake is crazy. This is the most important time. Shop it, urban outfit this, okay? Good. Mm. 
Levi's, 50% off that price. Yeah. This whole set is $29. That's not bad. You get four full size products. Yep, this is so good. come back last night me I don't know if y'all could tell or, I don't know if y'all could tell but I'm losing my voice or my voice is like it's just raspy it's just not I don't sound how I normally would but I did not come back last night I was so exhausted my eyes were burning it just wasn't gonna happen I was on Seattle last night but I'm back today to show you guys some of the things that I got yesterday oh yeah I know I'm not sharing my Sephora stuff until I get my Sephora my full Sephora haul but I didn't pay nothing for the things that I got yes I didn't pay any money out of my pocket at least for the things that I picked up at Sephora yesterday but y'all will see that in my Sephora haul but I am wearing this cap come I think it's Gracie Lee Grace Lee or something like that this is from Sephora I actually want to buy another one it's a satin line cap I'll link it down below I love these things they're meant for you to like wear outside but I just wear it to like bed and it just keeps my natural hair obviously protected but I'm going to get another one of these. And they're very affordable. And they have different colors. But I want to mention that it is a Sephora. And it's black owned. And I think women owned in period. We love supporting black women owned businesses. But. <clears throat> excuse me. And the one thing I will say is that I got the Forever Mood. I am her. And I smelled all the other ones. So I did buy the sampler. This is one thing that I'll share I guess from the sale. I bought the sampler set yesterday when I placed my initial order. And you guys know I went in yesterday and bought some more stuff. But. Um, I don't like all of them. But I don't really know yet. I didn't spray any of, my, any of them on my skin. But I did buy the I Am Her Travel Spray. That I'm going to wear today. I'll show you guys that later once I'm ready. But we're just going outside and doing regular degular Saturday things. We have no agenda per usual. We just go outside and see what we can find. Guy on TikTok. That's like his motto. But I did get some stuff at TJ Maxx. I got this House of Harlow necklace. This one right here. I've seen these on like Instagram on some like online jewelry shops. But they've been charging the arm and the leg. And I found it at TJ Maxx for $12.99. Or $14.99. $12.99. So I probably wear this today to be honest. So y'all will see it. And I was able to screw a uh, screw into my camera. But I just have to keep on doing this. And the camera um, flip screen is still not as sturdy as it should be. So I don't know how I feel about vlogging on it. But I really don't want to vlog on my phone. Because then that kills my phone battery. I should bring out my DJI Osmo pocket, but I don't even know if that's fully charged, so clearly I need to get my shit together. As y'all can see, my filming issue is not together. And my Canon, not that, M EOS 80 or 70. The big body, my big body camera is too big. But how cute. Can y'all tell? It's like the tulip, I think it's like tulip shape. I don't know if y'all can tell, like how the tulip flower looks. But I got this. I just always try to take off the extra links. I also got this sand and fog perf these sand and fog perfume oil perfume oils because I found this one like last week. And when I say this is a spot on dupe, spot on dupe to the Kayali. I don't have my glasses on. Maybe I should put it on so I can see if y'all can see what I can see. What I think y'all can see. A spot on dupe to the Kayali pistachio gelato spot on dupe spot on if you see it at tj maxx please get it if you like that scent or want to buy it but don't want to spend all that money on it but highly recommend this is literally kali pistachio gelato and a perfume oil pistachio dream get it so being that i smelled that and i own that i also saw this trio set i already gave one to my mom because it had a mini green one which is the same pistachio so i just gave it to her this has three perfume oils the first one is violet sandalwood notes of bergamot magnolia violet and cedarwood jasmine cedarwood which has notes of saffron lemon jasmine pine and cedarwood and then malibu beach which has the cocoa pistachio almond caramel and vanilla which is what this smells like so i already smelled these the other two and they smell really good but i just want to show you guys it in the packaging there we go so if y'all see it in tk Maxx, get it get it get it and come back report back report back in the comments and let me know how they smell but these smell so good i promise y'all they say they're like nest dupes i own a few of the nest fragrances this kind of smell like turkish turkish rose not gonna lie the jasmine and cedarwood literally kind of smells like turkish rose from nest and this one this kind of smells like madagascar vanilla but not really kind of sort of 
but this is definitely Kali. Definitely. I also happened to see the Solowasu cleansing oil in TJ Maxx, and this was $20 compared to $40 on Sephora site. Like, I literally looked up in the store, and I was like, oh, I gotta get this. So, I got the Solowasu cleansing oil, and I literally have the sample of the Solowasu uh, cleanser, like a gel cleanser or something like that, and I saw it in TJ Maxx where I was scared to buy it, but I literally just tried my sample size last night and I'm like oh I need a full size so this is the full size cleansing oil it comes with the pump and the oil itself and then I'm going to go get that Soloasu cleanser if I see it in store today if I pop into a JC, uh, uh, TJ Maxx I'll show it to you guys TJ Maxx just been good on us they just been I've been finding so many good things in there from jewelry to skincare like so many good things so solo asu if you see any solo asu it'd be compare the price on sephora and report back to me expeditiously so we got some pr that i want to share before i head out and touch the town new york city town but first one is coming from loxitone my loxitone fab i was like what is in this box she is huge honey discover our year-round commitment to the planet celebrating earth month all year round because april is earth month they are b corp certified meeting the high standards of social and environmental impact to be a force of good for the world and we love that a sustainable brand their aim is to reduce waste to have 100 percent of packaging made from recyclable reusable and compostable material by 2025 they did send some goodies in this package we have an almond um, milk concentrate which is like their body butter they also have a refill of the almond body butter and we also have this lavender liquid soap for hands and body I just used my loxitan almond shower oil and my skin feels so good smells so good i should have paired it with this for the second step but tomorrow skincare routine come on now you already know what i'm doing but i got these from loxitan this is the lavender wash liquid soap i'll give that a try you can reuse this packaging as well i love that and then for the refill, it comes in this. You just pour it into the OG package so you're not buying a whole new container. And last week, we got something from Clarence. I was geeked when I saw this. Geeked. Geeked. I actually got this, like, right when I ended last week's vlog. We got some lip oils from Clarence. Like, and I literally just finished my other lip oil. You should already know how I feel about these. You should already know. You should already know. So they sent over three new shades. These are limited edition for the spring. They're so pretty. My favorite is this one. I think it's like passionate pink. But these, so freaking cute. Same lovely formula. These are just a bit more pigmented. I think I posted in, in uh, YouTube shorts already on these. If anything, I'll just insert it in the vlog. But I do already have a YouTube shorts up of me trying these and i love them my clarence lip oils are inseparable so imagine how hype i was to receive the new limited edition spring oils from my clarence fam i had to try them on this is passionate pink and it is vibrant and pink is my favorite color so duh of course this is my favorite next is joyful yellow it is a very subtle color great for everyday wear rose jojoba and hazelnut oil are just three of some of the standout ingredients i'm always here for a glossy lip last is daring orange i love the subtle tint and these glide on with ease Overall, they're a win in my book. Let me know which color is your favorite. Let me know which one of these you're picking up. Your lips will thank you and you can thank me later. So, yeah, I had to share those with y'all. Thanks to Lexus Han. Thanks to Clarence for sending these goodies over. But your girl is about to get ready now. And did you guys see here? I'm still kind of sick. I've just been trying to drink these and like ginger shots as well. I needed to finish that one. But apart from that one, to show you guys my nails. Uh -uh -uh nails that i shared with you guys when and i think in the last vlog i picked them up from target diane von Furstenberg collaborated with target and she made some nails with sally henson so literally these are the nails i'm telling you i've been wearing press-ons literally since the pandemic and i don't think i'm ever going back to the nail salon i don't know because like what you can't tell me these are press-ons and i'll tell you they press on and you're gonna be like what yeah i'm a press-on girl for now until probably ever okay but let me go get ready and i'll check back in i'm back with the i am her i'm gonna spray it on my wrist but i low-key want to mix it because i did see she say you can mix it with some stuff but i'm gonna spray it on my wrist to see if it lasts what's that oh thank you i'm gonna spray it on my wrist 
to determine how long it lasts and if I like it on its own. And I like that the travel spray is a spray and not a roll ball. Um, but this one was the one that really like, caught my attention off rip. This one is real, it's fresh, it's sweet, it's kind of floral. The one that if I were to get a full size, this is what I would get. Um, but I have to see how long it lasts first before determining if we're doing any full size anything. Any full size anything. Where's that plane going? I would love to be on it. This has notes of red pear, red velvet, sorry, pear and oud. Mm. That pear is the one that's making it smell sweet. Mm -hmm. I also smell some floralness in here. I don't really get that red velvet, but it's it's nice. It's like a gourmand, but not like really gourmandy, if that makes sense. Like I like this one. Let's see how it lasts. But I'm going to spray this on with some other stuff. I might do the jasmine and cedar wood from Sand and Fog. This kind of smells like Turkish rose. Yeah. So I'll update y'all. I'm not going to put anything on this hand, but on this one I will. Just to see how she wears. I'm going to layer the two. I like this so far. It smells really good. I think the other one I kind of liked. I don't remember. If, I, I got to give y'all like my full review in that Sephora haul. It smells good. I will say that on initial spray, initial first impression, it does smell really good. I'm going to bring it with me too. It's bringing with us. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to wear a hat or not. Because my hair is just in this. And I don't feel like doing it. I don't even feel like putting on edges. but And this battery is dying, so I don't think we're bringing this. Let me see what my DJI look like. You know what it was? I think it was how honest I was about her. The Queen's Botanical Garden, checking it out. I'm hungry, so we gotta get some food first. <laughs> okay, we don't have to pay today because New York Presbyterian is sponsoring, and you could get free screenings and a free goodie bag and like free tea, a whole bunch of things going on over here. Um, these are the basic black tea, mm -hmm. and then these are the herbal And what's this one? Oh, basil. And that's basil too? Yeah. Oh, yes. You even get complimentary meal at either Viria or Mac truck. Burrito courtesy of Viria del Toro Rojo. Let's see. Oh, those I actually need because thank you. I need the vitamin C. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw. Here, here. Have a ton of shit. Oh my oh, god. <laughs> I just want to learn to do. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. So, come on. I gave you a juice. <laughs> this throwing stuff at us. You know what? When this is in full bloom, it's probably really nice. Yeah, These planters are so cute. I love that one. This is a spike. The flamingo, cute. The mushroom, the taco. They're all so cute. Oh, look at the dino one. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, you're welcome. Hi. Hello, ladies. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm really good today. How are you? Good. So thanks. those are some wasps you're looking at. Oh. Everything here is dead. You don't have to be afraid. Right. And that's like the wax. These. I don't like wasps. Well, these are descended from wasps. And some wasps are pollinators too. Oh, they mm -hmm. are? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And big difference is that wasps tend to be more aggressive. Right. Bees are defensive but if you make them angry enough they'll sting right. a lot too or you try to so bother their queen a ton of stings from wasps but never look they're making fresh boba for your boba tea This looks good guys, it's like a cookie with strawberry. 
And then they have matcha popcorn. Look at this. Like some Japanese store. Press on nail galore, honey. Oh, these are cute. Right on Main Street and flushing, y'all. So I came to this place called Tangram Food Mall last week and I didn't vlog so I came back because I had to show y'all. When I say they have some good food over here, Thai food, we had some Vietnamese, we had some banh mi as well. So good and some cute spots in here. This smells so good, it's like a tea spot. And then they have like a pop-up with different little vendors downstairs in the mall. And then um, just a few different places to eat and other little shops in here. So. We're going back. It's so pretty in here. It's like a new mall. I mentioned that already. New mall plus they have a food court. Every weekend, this is the address. sushi and noodle eating purposes so cute Pearl River Mart wanna look Angry Bird store. Sweets, drinks, games. Oh wow. This part was closed last week so we didn't get to see it. I just bought this pin. It's so cute. It's like a butterfly with eyes. I have my Fenties on. Oh, OTD. It's giving pink for sure. Spring for sure. This is so cute. It is so cute. Oh my god. And they have more clothes. the last time at this um, Thai spot food was so good zab zab so good. and then we had bami at juju so good so we might get bami again so I was vlogging on my um, DJ asthma pocket but it died I just decided to randomly vlog on it before we left but we're getting food from Joju see this guy we're getting food from Joju and then we have a nice little view there's a lot of tables in here we just ran and picked one up first one we saw open and I cleaned it off so I'm gonna get um, probably the lemon chicken lemongrass chicken bami the fries kimchi fries and a drink and we're gonna eat and enjoy and then walk back out to Flushing and see what else is over there that we find like probably like fruits and vegetables and maybe some dessert but yeah this is Tangram food mall bami kimchi fries and mango lychee mojito non-alcoholic so good from Soju. Soju. This place feels like you've been transported to a whole different country, child. Look at the koi pond inside the building. I'm looking at it through glass, so it's kind of foggy, but so nice. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, transported to a whole different place. Hi. 
free parking since we're at Old Sky Foods. Hi, gotta make an exchange at Sephora. You know, we cannot stay away. Yeah. Extra bit. This is one of my favorite Marshalls. It's in Queens and Flushing, okay? They have so many things. So many things. They have these Ed Hardy jeans in the men's section. Fire, the Ed Hardy on the back. $20. No, that's okay. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday, happy happy Sunday. If I'm coming to y'all on a Sunday, y'all know that the vlog is nowhere near ready to go up. Actually, I've started editing it, but I didn't film an outro, so here I am. So I literally brushed my teeth, so I'll come right here and talk to y'all. But I want to just recap the vlog a little bit, so y'all know what we did, and it kind of makes sense, because I don't really talk a lot, I did, but I didn't. So Friday, the day we started the vlog, we went to the gallery. My mom actually was the one that knew about the gallery, and she, I guess, one of her clients, I think one of her clients, um, had an event there and she was unable to make it to the event so she was like oh I want to go but I want to bring Sharma so she was the one that had the idea to go to the gallery and she didn't show me any pictures at all because you know me I want to dress up and do makeup and do da, da, da. I wasn't going to be doing that doing that anyways on Friday because I had a long week but we went there it is such a cute place such a cute gallery so the artist wanted to highlight a lot of honorary women for the for women's history month so even though that was last month i think they i think it and saw that i feel like it ends at the end of the month but that was so pretty y'all know me i love the glitz and glam definitely a feminist but um we went there first and then we went to sephora two times in this vlog i have a little notes i have my notes that i'm looking at just so i remember to touch points on everything that i wanted to share but we went to sephora twice in this vlog the first day we went i was able to smell some of the jackie Adams fragrances even though I already purchased the sample set um, in my initial Sephora order, I think that comes this week, this upcoming week. I'll share my full review in that haul. Um, but the one that I wore yesterday, I am her. I really like it, but it doesn't last. I was trying to smell my wrist a couple of hours into the day after spraying it, and I couldn't really smell it. It was very, very faint. And when I got home, it was gone. So I'd say <laughs> it's given more toilette, in my opinion, at least the I am her on my body. It didn't really last so i don't know if i'll be getting a full size i don't think i'll be getting a full size of it but it did layer really nicely with the other um perfume oil that i heard it with i don't know about the rest of them but this one didn't last for me on my wrist at all um and then i made an exchange the second day that i went to sephora which was yesterday for something that i bought like two weeks ago unrelated i did buy some more stuff but again y'all will see that in the haul that's coming this week okay you'll probably see that after you watch this video like next week so then back to friday we went to kyu which is a pl a place that we went to um for my mom's birthday maybe two years ago but i saw that they had happy hour and we were in the soho area so i was like oh let's go check it out being that it's friday their happy hour i believe is from five to seven so we made it i'm not gonna lie the happy hour was cute but it wasn't really giving happy hour prices the drinks were 12 but i think originally they're like t in the 20s so kind of half off but listen, I've been to happy hour with a drinks of seven, and I prefer that than 12. I could buy two drinks for that price, or six dollars, two drinks for that price. So the drinks were 12. The the we got crispy tuna and crispy salmon, and I think those were like 15. All I remember is the bill came up to like $60. And happy hour, I could do like a $30. That ain't bad. So not bad, but I've went to better happy hour. I've been to places that had better happy hour deals. So yeah, KYU was cute. Then after that, we went to Urban Outfitters and TJ Maxx. In Urban Outfitters, you guys saw I only got those jeans for $4.99, those Levi's jeans. You will see that in my collective haul for spring. So went to TJ Maxx, you guys saw that we got the uh, perfume oils in there. I shared that in the haul for TJ Maxx. And then yesterday, we went to the Queen's Botanical Garden. So this is Saturday now. So that was something else that We've sometimes we go to Queens, we go to Flushing to buy groceries because it's just a lot cheaper, especially like oxtail can be a lot cheaper in Flushing. The Asians just get the, the food for a good price, child. You go to ShopRite and Stop and Shop, and it's just more, way more expensive. So, we've been going to Flushing to get a lot of meats and fruits and stuff like that, vegetables and stuff like that. So, one time we passed, and there was the Queens Botanical Gardens. 
my mom has visited there in the past but i've never been made but i've never made the trip so yesterday we decided to go and literally upon entry we saw a lot of tents and there were people at the front that were giving out bags and they're like well we're from new york presbyterian and we're sponsoring you know the trip your trip to the queen's botanical today so all you have to do is go around to the different tables you also get a free meal but when you go around to the different tables you can get some education regarding health from pregnancy or pre pregnancy prevention therapy information so all we had to do is go around to the different tables and new york presbyterian um, employees were at the different tables and they were just providing us with information some were giving us snacks when i tell y'all my bag that i left with yesterday was so heavy we had banana i think at one point in the vlog you guys saw me heard me saying they're just throwing stuff at us we got like seven bananas nine tangerines they were giving us chips juice a whole bunch of stuff at some of the different tables so it was just such a good event shout out to new york presbyterian because we didn't spend a dollar and i think entry to all the botanical gardens i know for sure the bronx one is like 30 dollars, so i'm sure the queen's one is probably like 20 or 15 or something we didn't have to pay and then we got a free meal as well you guys saw that so shout out to them because that burrito could have been like 15 20 dollars if you know you know and it was free and then um they also provided us with beverages so that was really nice and um some of the one of the tables i remember they were saying that you can get free breath breast cancer screening free colon cancer screening at some of the locations even if you don't have insurance so just fyi putting it out there because we should all be making sure we're doing our screenings google it okay google is your best friend new york presbyterian free health screenings and they'll give you the location um next up we went to the Tangram building where they had the Tangram food hall. That's my second time being there. Again, I shared the places that I've gotten food from in the past and that we got food from yesterday. So good. Highly recommend if you're in the Queens area. There are so many malls, little food malls and stuff in Flushing. Like so many places to eat. Like so many places. I know not a lot of people try to um, venture out and like eat different things. They stick to what they know. But I promise you... I promise you, just give some things a try. If you don't like it, you don't like it. And then you can move forward. Like, no, I'm, I will never eat this again. But give it a try. I know I'm speaking to just some of y'all because some, some of y'all are real stubborn. Y'all only eat what y'all know, and that's fine. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, open up your palate just a little bit. And, and you guys saw we had bami yesterday. It's basically just a sandwich. Um, and then we went to this Queen Skyview Mall, which is where you saw me go back to Sephora. And we also went to Marshall. So... That Sephora is a little bit smaller, I'd say. It doesn't really have a lot of things, but still a cute little Sephora if you're in that vicinity. And then that Marshalls is one of my favorite Marshalls. It's huge, and it has a ton of stuff. And that mall also has the Nike outlet, Adidas outlet, and I think a, a Converse outlet. And they have a few other stores, and there's a Target there as well. So, highly recommend. Again, if you're in the Flushing area, check these places out. Check them out. And then, last but not least, I went to get boba at that place that was making fresh boba. The boba was really good because it was freshly made. Y'all saw him making that brown sugar boba. But the milk tea itself could have been a little sweeter. I got it with oat milk, but it could have been a little sweeter. But the boba was really fresh and good. I would return and maybe just ask them to add a little bit more sugar. Add a little bit more brown sugar or something to mine. But other than that, it was really good. But that brings us to the end of this vlog, y'all. I have schoolwork that I need to do. I'm kind of like over the semester. It ends at the beginning of May. I'm kind of like over the semester. <laughs> so I'm I'm not smack, slacking off me doing my work, but I'm not as caught up as I normally am. I like wait till the last minute, which is not good, but it gets done. It gets done and that's all that matters. So I'm going to try to hurry and finish editing this vlog and have it up for you guys a little later than normally. It's usually I try to have my vlogs up for Sunday on at 12, but last night i did not come back not only was my canon gx7 dead but my dji osmo pocket was also dead the little camera that i brought with me and we just had to end the vlog today and i hope you guys enjoy don't watch my glasses i did clean them it doesn't look like i clean them but i did clean them before coming on the camera because i'm like damn why my glasses look so dirty but my problem is that I always press the lens. Instead of pushing this part up, I always go like this. So that's why there's always fingerprints all over my glasses. So it's not really dirty. It's just fingerprints. But I guess it is dirty. 
but don't watch that i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you did make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe down below if you're new and you made it all the way to the end join the girl gang and follow me on ig and tiktok you know until next time i'll see y'all later also let me know if you guys have shopped from the sales yet what have we purchased i've already made three purchases am i the problem or is sephora the problem